Time to put your hurricane supplies kit together. Here's Stephen Sarabia with a look at some of the things you should pick up the next time you're in the grocery store. When preparing an emergency kit, there's a few key items to keep in mind. The first one being a waterproof container that can fit all your supplies. Next, you'll need enough food for you and your family to last a couple days. And if you have a pet, you don't want to forget about them as well. You'll also need a few blankets for everyone in your family. Another very important thing you'll need is hygiene, like soap, shampoo, because you don't know how long you'll need it. And if you have kids, you're definitely going to need stuff for them, like entertainment, because you're not going to know how long they're going to go without electricity. Another key item to have is a weather radio. That way you can get updates on the storm as it's passing through. You're going to want to make sure you can fit all this stuff in an easy to move container. That way you can take it around with you. And other stuff you can add to this kit is if you have anybody who has medication, make sure you have enough to last for a couple days. You're also going to want to make sure you have cash on you as well as important documents because they may be useful in times of an emergency. So now we're ready and the 2017 hurricane season is upon us. Here's Andrew Chung with the forecast for this hurricane season. Every spring, the first Ward 5 storm tracking team has the good fortune to attend the National Tropical Weather Conference at South Padre Island. It's at this conference where Dr. Phil Klotzbach, the hurricane researcher from Colorado State University, issues his forecast for the upcoming Atlantic hurricane season. For 2017, he's calling for 13 named storms, with six of those becoming hurricanes and two of those becoming major hurricanes of Category 3 strength or greater. That's about average. He says the chances of the weather phenomenon El Nino developing this year have diminished. El Nino tends to suppress hurricanes in the Atlantic and Gulf, and because it looks less likely El Nino will develop, he's calling for an average season. However, we want everyone to remember it only takes one storm to ruin people's lives and property. The 1983 season is a good example. We could call it a quiet season. Only three hurricanes, but the first storm of the season was Hurricane Alicia, which made landfall near Galveston as a Category 3 hurricane on August 18th. Alicia caused 21 deaths and more than $2 billion in damage in 1983 dollars. Nobody knows for sure what this hurricane season holds, but we do know that the better prepared we are, the better the ending will be to our own personal stories. Today we learned it's better to start preparing now for a flood instead of when the water is rising. Plus, I think we can all agree it's good to have electricity to stay safe and connected during the storm. And we showed you what it's like to have an extreme fear of weather and how preparing your home and family can help you cope with the storm. Plus, we gave you an example of how foster homes here in the RGV are required to be hurricane ready. We also looked at hurricane evacuations, determining who should evacuate when a storm strikes. And we broke down the forecast for the 2017 Atlantic hurricane season. And we gave you information about a new mobile system which provides data on a hurricane to first responders so they can better protect you. Most importantly, information is your friend during a hurricane, and you can count on Channel 5 News on air, online, on social media, and on our KRGV weather app to provide the information you need to keep your family safe. Do something right now to move your hurricane plan forward. Right now. It might just save your life. Thanks for joining us tonight.